Now 934, 82 degrees out. Let's go ahead and check in with Justin, who is right outside of our studio. Hey there, guys. Yeah, we're, we out, we're out in the heat again, and we're talking with Jennifer Northway here from University Health System, and we're talking about an important topic, uh, the issue of kids and pets being in cars this time of year. It's, it's a big problem, and uh, I guess first talk a little bit about, uh, you mentioned some of the, the stats, but if someone comes upon a car and they see a kid or, or, or a pet in there, what, what's the first thing they should do? Well, it's important to remember that we need to act fast, which is why we're putting this message out there so often every year throughout the entire summer from Memorial Day to Labor Day because children's bodies just cannot acclimate to this to extreme weather and to temperatures the way that adults can and unfortunately it can happen so fast for our kids that when we see a child or a pet locked into a vehicle and they're in distress we need to call 911 immediately. Uh, unfortunately when a child's internal temperature reaches about 104, which can happen very fast, their organs start to die. And when they, that internal temperature reaches 107, um, they unfortunately can start to experience permanent damage and, and death. And so it's very important that we act very quickly um, to make sure that we get ch children out of a very distressing situation because a vehicle can heat up up to 20 degrees in the matter of 10 minutes um, with, with the sun uh, reflecting on those windows. And speaking to that, we, we looked at the temperature earlier. So yes. for instance, the outside temperature 82, 83, but look at the inside now, it's already up to 90. Yes. Uh, and this number is gonna go up pretty quickly here in the next couple of hours because we got full sun now. Absolutely. Uh, and so because of that, it's very important, even at 90 degrees, that can be, that prolonged exposure at 90 degrees inside of a vehicle can turn into a deadly situation. As children's bodies, again, just aren't able to handle uh, that fluctuation, that exposure to that extreme temperature and keep their internal um, temperature regulated. So we've got to act fast. It's so important, especially this time of year and we're going to be talking with Jennifer through the day today we're getting more facts on on this issue and, and it is hot that's the bottom line forecast for today is going to call for high temperature of 101 we have heat advisories out so we just got to play this really safe and be really careful and hopefully we'll get some relief coming up well maybe September but uh, maybe some rain chances coming up next week we're going to talk more about that forecast in just a bit